Hello, I'm so glad you're here today to draw with me. You'll wanna get your Sharpie marker, some colorful markers, your paper out, and then you're going to pick some kitchen utensils to draw in honor of Thanksgiving this week. Um, I picked some different utensils that stand for some of my favorite foods. So pause the video if you need to grab your materials. If you are younger, please chat with your family about which, which of the kitchen utensils are okay to grab for you. So now let's get started drawing. I'm gonna start with this pie server because I love pumpkin pie. In fact, one of my friends just recently told me that they have pumpkin pie for breakfast on Thanksgiving with their coffee or their milk, and I love that idea because why wait till you're, till, until you're full to have the best part of the meal? So I say go for pumpkin pie early and often. So um, there's my pie server, and for coloring these objects, I am not going to go with the traditional colors. That might be kind of boring as most of them are all metal, and so I would just be coloring a lot of gray. Instead, I'm going to make these really bright and colorful. And this is orange, kind of thinking of the pumpkin color to go along with my pumpkin pie. Now, you might like a different type of pie. Maybe you like apple or cherry or blueberry, um, but I really like the traditional pumpkin pie. So along with this pie server, I want to write a little note. I'm going to have to really squish that in and it's going to go over, but that's okay. Add a little red for that heart and there is my pie server. So the next thing that I picked is this and it's a pastry blender so it chops up the crisco with the flour and the salt and makes it um, nice and flaky the crust so i'm going to draw this but i want to give you a tip one of the things you can do is you can outline or trace around your object when it is something that's an interesting shape and that can help you with drawing and with your placement so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, I'll take that off now and draw the inside pieces that I see. And this part is quite complicated because all these little, I don't know, little metal blade pieces and they come down here. And sometimes my view will be different than your view. So it's really great if you just go grab your own things from the kitchen that you want to draw. So this one, the pastry blender is going to be a nice bright yellow. I'm going to use the broad side of the marker when I've got a big area. And then when I've got a small area, I'll use the tip. So the pastry blender is what makes that pie crust all flaky and yummy. So that's gonna be my note for that. Now you can see my first three all have to do with, <laughs> with the pie because it's the ice cream that goes with the pie. And so I'm gonna draw the ice cream scoop as well. Now, some people, they have Cool Whip or they have whipping cream with their pie. Um, I like ice cream. Let's make this a green color. Oh, and there's actually another little line right here. And there is a reflection that I could draw as well that the light is bouncing back. There's actually a few of them. So you can decide if you want to put those reflections in there or not. And so I'll leave those areas white. 
So I'm kind of a traditional gal. I like the pumpkin pie along with vanilla ice cream. If you could pick any kind of ice cream to have with your pie, what kind would you pick? And what kind of pie? So what kind of combination do you like together? Maybe you don't even like pie. Maybe you'd rather just have the ice cream by itself. All right, ice cream scoop, pie server, and pastry blender done. Next up is this whisk for making the gravy. So I like to make a homemade gravy. And so I'm gonna be putting my whisk in here. And it has a straight handle down this part, but this other section wraps over. And so I wanna get that part and I have to do it first since it goes over the top. back behind there. Now this little wire part is quite complex and I don't think I want to draw each of those little round parts. Instead I'm just going to make it look like it by drawing what it seems like versus every one of those little round things. There we go. There's my whisk. We'll make it a nice blue color. This is about being colorful and having fun. Right, it's the gravy that I like with, of course you've gotta have the mashed potatoes with the gravy. And the whisk I use for making the gravy. So there it is, next up is the knife for carving the turkey. So carving, this is not like carving a pumpkin, but it's rather cutting the meat from the bone. So I will draw a carving knife. And we'll make that handle a bright color of red. So we've got five colors of the rainbow on this page. Yeah, and this Thanksgiving has me thinking of everything I'm thankful for and of course all the delicious food we are going to eat. We are thankful for that. We're thankful for a home that is warm and um, so much to be thankful for, for sure. <clears throat> right up here we have a little space. Turkey is delicious. all the yummy food. Um, there's almost enough space down here probably to write Happy Thanksgiving. If you have space somewhere on yours, you can. All right, I hope you enjoy your Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody.